Okay guys, final section. Uh, looking very spiffy. And uh, this is the final major step uh, on weathering, space weathering for the White Knight model. Uh, lastly, I want to add some soot effects. First, we've had the pin wash. Uh, next, we've done the chipping. Lastly, I'd like just some very light soot effects on this one. Um, this will go well with us. Uh, I'd like to do outrageous soot effects on the, uh, the Lunar Diver version. Uh, it's a different scale, and I just think that will look really cool. This one, it's subtle soot effects, and I'm going to put them on here on the back of the White Knight. Now, if you're like me, and we all are, we're all pretty similar, uh, once you get to the end of the model, uh, you get a little bit nervous because, especially when it's looking good, if you've kind of made a bungle and you don't care, fine, you know, all bets are off. But I'm quite happy with this. I don't want to push it too hard. Uh, I'm tired too. You know how you mentally get a little tired? Uh, because you've been looking at the same thing for a while. There's plenty of shiny things uh, off to the side of the bench, including not so shiny that make you think about other projects. So uh, because it's mild and I'm not going to go that hard on it, I thought, come on, what's an easy way out of this? What's an easy way to get the sort of effects done? And I remembered, uh, I've got a product that I haven't used for a long time and boom, I'm going to get this into action. The Tamiya Weathering Master. Still got the factory sticker on it. I think that was the Robocop reference. I uh, boy, that was a good movie. Now these, uh, and, the, and the local price tag. Oh my God, outside of Japan, we get ripped off, don't we? <laughs> the, um, this was the first one I think I used way back in the day. And um, it's got soot, 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 built into it. Oh, sorry, that's the Japanese, that's what it says, soot, soot. And uh, this is gonna be perfect for this. And I'll test out and show you. I've only ever done two applications with it, using the makeup sponge and then with the brush. Let's go with that. Hey, different now is that they actually come with instructions. How cool is this? And it looks like it gives you a number of steps, etc., to use. That's very helpful. So let's put that off to the side and not read it. I'm just going to go straight in. The Come on. Now, as I remember, now it's literally many, many, many years since I've touched this one. Uh, I remember them being soft. It was like a thick paste. And uh, all I want is, is it a thick paste? Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to say it. I imagine this is exactly what's in weathering pencils and so on uh, from AK. Now again, um, have you guys noticed that AK's got a lot of stuff and this isn't going out public. AK's just got so much stuff um, that seems to be matching up with Tamiya as well as uh, distributing their products. So, you know, I'm not saying that the weathering pencils may have been made by Tamiya as well. I mean, the real colors are pretty close to Tamiya. There's just a lot of things going on there. I wouldn't say suspicious. I mean, if I could get products made by one of the companies, Tamiya is certainly high on my list, right? So I think that would be good. Okay, yeah, I remember these. Just very thick eyeshadow looking pad. And there seems to be plenty on the brush. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is that this has got, uh, I know it's flat. It's not that flat. Uh, it's still, because I put it on wet, I wanted that sort of, that really cool space looking uh, finish. Yeah, that looks good. And it is, it's lovely and dry too. Cool. I think we're good. I didn't want to go with the sponge on this one. Now, vectoring out. I imagine, you know, zero G. Uh, if there's any soot coming out, let's go around in a circle, moving out. Very light. Okay. Good. It's even lighter than expected, which I really like because it means we can control the application well. Cool. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm going to a little more. That's about what I wanted. See, the best thing about having this kind of experience is that you never, now our mate Chris will be very happy with hearing this. Even though you buy a bunch of products, sometimes they don't quite work out what you want that time. What it does mean though is in the future, you'll have this nice data bank 
of just various stuff you've tried over the years, all the fails, and uh, let's stipple some in. And some will work out and be useful again, and some not so much. Okay, that's exactly the effect I want on the top. So that's perfect. Now, I want to clean my brush a little bit more, work some of these in, and then brush it back with my fingers too. And that should give it about what I had in mind. That's awesome. How come every time we do a video, the leaf blower guy comes out? Now, to create some variety with this, I'm gonna use Sweaty Finger to pull back against the direction we applied it. Oh, that's magical. That was, that was real enthusiasm just then. I couldn't fake that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. And then let's go back in, stipple that. Smudge it back into place. That's that's really what I wanted. That's really what I wanted here. So cool. I think that looks about right to me. And you notice whenever I say that in a video, that looks right to me. I then retouch it. <laughs> yes, I laughed at myself. And some the vectored idea, the vectored concept has been waiting all this time. Finally, the vector is a very slight thing, but, okay, touch, touch. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted. I basically made this model to test this idea out. I'm gonna darken up some of these so it looks like carbon slash dust has come in. Oh, dude, that is so cool. I had thought about uh, airbrushing that on, but no, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, that's it, boom. How cool is that? A Little bit of interplay between them now. And, yep, and one more slightly darker spot on this main one. Follow the shape. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. Yes, that's how I saw it. I don't know if you guys, uh, pardon me for, for, for geeking out in front of the camera, but do you guys have that moment where you, you see something in your mind and you, want, you know how you want it to look, but you don't know if you can get there. This totally got there. I'm so happy about that. These little impact craters, etc. So boom, vectored space weathering, it happened. And uh, I'll put some photos up now for you to have a really close look at it. And I uh, hope you really like this too. Super happy with how this one turned out. Um, thank you for riding along with me on the journey. I know the guys in Discord will laugh every time I say journey. And uh, thank you for the support in enabling me the, um, the ability, because I'm not working for someone else to produce this content, I can go off the rails and do these little side side missions. And uh, we can produce nifty little stuff like this. I really appreciate that. Thanks a bunch, guys. Talk soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Really good news. YouTube has unlocked memberships for the channel. Hey! They know that monetization through the advertising, it's a bit of a joke, especially since Adpocalypse. So this is really good of them, and I do appreciate it a great deal. You can sign up on desktop by mashing the join button, but it's a little trickier on the mobile app, you know, almost as if they tried to hide it. You'll need to follow the link in the video description. Benefits for you include badges next to your name in your comments so that we know you're a Paint on Plastic channel supporter. Plus, just like on Patreon, you can watch the full length extended cut versions of the new videos. That's what's playing in the background for you now. You can watch them here or staying on the site or in the app, but heads up, there aren't as many perks on offer, sadly. Patreon is still the best deal for you all around, and you can access that one from the link in the description as well. Thanks a bunch always for the support. That's what enables me to make this content for you and grow our community.
And here's a shout out to the epic Paint on Plastic Robots and the Paint on Plastic supporter community. You guys make this content possible. Thank you so very much. Please visit paintonplastic.com because I've got loads more cool stuff for you. Thanks. Bye.